So we did the style of video for Transit, but today we're gonna be talking a little bit about Call of the Dead. What if Call of the Dead got remastered in Black Ops 3? I mean, that would have been dope, but we know it didn't happen. And it doesn't mean that it can happen in the future. I'm very positive that we will see the maps that were not remastered with Zombies Chronicles getting remastered in the next game or in the next next one. It's just the matter of time. And in this video, I'm briefly going to go over the map. And we got 10 things that would make Call of the Dead the best zombies map not to mention a lot of people like this map so do I it's a good meme but there are things here and there that are not really a good meme if you know what I'm saying and uh, it made a lot of people not like this map and hey a lot of people were triggered and I feel like these uh, 10 things that I got on the list are are going to significantly improve this map and after you finish watching this video let me know what ideas you agree with what ideas you disagree with what ideas make you cream what ideas make you trigger let me know in the comments and real quick before we jump on this video, these are some of the homies that actually subscribe to the channel and I will be featuring some more during the video as well. But coming in at number 10, we have this thing called VR11. Now every time noobs play Call of the Dead, they're like, hey, I got my name by VR11. They're like, shit, I got VR11. They're like, I got the 8 wonder in my hands. And I'm just looking at them, I'm saying like, what? Niba, Niba, you crazy. But VR11 is technically the worst wonder weapon of all time. And pro players nowadays, they say VR11 is not even a wonder weapon. And I'm just looking at them and I'm also saying, what? Like, Niba, you crazy too. But VR11, it's a wonder wrap and you technically need it to finish the Easter egg, you know what I'm saying? But uh, VR11 has limited amount of ammo. Now, first of all, this thing needs more ammo. Maybe give this gun like triple the amount of ammo that it currently has. That would have been dope. And what it does is that whenever you shoot a zombie, it will make that zombie turn into a CIA agent, which is like, what? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me because CIA agent should have been in the map called 5, if you know what I'm saying. But it is in Call of the Dead. If someone can fill me in like why that is I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below but we know CIA agents are in Call of the Dead every time you would shoot a zombie will turn into a CIA agent but what if the CIA agent would be a turn zombie that would change the whole game that would change the script everything like that and I feel like that would have been dope like I'm talking about the turn pack punch ability that we got in Black Ops 3 so Essentially, what you would do is you got the VR11 with uh, triple the amount of ammo than it currently has and you would shoot a zombie, it will turn into a CIA agent and if you are closer to the lighthouse, obviously that CIA agent will run into the lighthouse and boom, you will complete the easter egg, that sort of stuff, but if you're not there, then uh, the CIA agent will turn into that turn zombie and it will go around and kill zombie. But coming in at number 9, we're talking about scavenger, which is another one of happened that I really don't like. But at the same time, I do like it because it's unique to this map and I love Call of the Dead, so hey, I gotta love this thing too. But Scavenger, it's a wonder wrap and it's like a sniper rifle and with that you need to have, in order for this to work, you need to have the PhD flopper because uh, it's gonna explode and it's not gonna be happy for you, right? So you need to actually pair this with the PhD flopper to counter the explosive damage. So the thing with Scavenger is that it needs that buff because after round 30, it doesn't matter if you have this thing pack punch or not, after round 30, it's not going to work and the thing about zombies is that like you need wonder weapons to actually go for high rounds and if this thing is not gonna be useful after round 30 then what's the point so this thing really needs that buff it should be one hit kill till at least round 50 because we know VR 11 is not that crazy good so we need this thing to be crazy good but coming in at number 8 we're talking about wonder Wolf being inside the box now I don't know if you know this but whenever you would complete the Easter egg you would get that death machine drop and if you pick that up you will get the wonder Wolf with limit amount of ammo and when you run out of ammo well here goes everything so what I'm trying to say here is that when you complete the Easter egg the Wonder Waff will appear in the box I feel like that would be so so dope and that would kind of like cancel out like the scavenger and the VR 11 obviously if those were good then those would make this map a best zombies map if you know what I'm saying so I feel like Wonder Waff being in the box would be a smart decision but coming in at number seven we're talking about George Romero now first of all Rest in peace to my man George Romero, you'll be forever missed and you'll be forever alive for us in Call of the Dead. But at the same time, Treyarch, if you're listening, please remaster Call of the Dead for my man George Romero. Now second of all, when I say this, I mean a lot of people would be triggered, I can already feel that, but I feel like George Romero was a good addition for the map. He makes this map memorable, not only that, he makes this map unique 
and uh, he's just that man. If you're thinking about George Romero, you would think about Call of the Dead, and whenever you would think about Call of the Dead, you will think about my man George Romero. So in that regards, he was a good addition. What I don't like about this map is that I cannot say this word because Papa YouTube is listening. But whenever you would K I L L George Romero, he will like not disappear. He will disappear only for a little bit, then he will come back. What I want Treyarch to do is you will K I L L George Romero, and then he will disappear for the whole game. Obviously, you need that death mission. Obviously, you need that ray gun. Obviously, you need that scavenger. Obviously, you need everything. You need a lot of bullets, basically, to take him down. And uh, whenever you would take him down, of course, you will get that perk slot. But the problem is, yes, if you actually uh, take George Romero down, you will get perk bottle. And if you do this again, you will get another one. So in that regards, it's kind of good. But what I would say is that whenever you get, like, all the perks, then he will disappear. And obviously, if you get Call of the Dead Remaster in Black Ops 3, we will have Perkaholic on the house and uh, Unquenchable Gobblegum. So we don't really need three perk slot. Obviously, it's good, but at the same time, what I'm trying to say here is that if you take George Romero down, he shouldn't come back in that same game. But coming in at number six, we're talking about no fog. I want zero fog in this map and I feel like having a little bit of the fog is great but at the same time it's like too much and it's uh, it comes in every now and then and the definition of every now and then is basically like every 30 seconds it's gonna happen every 30 seconds and that's really lame though I want like zero fog or if Trek can do something like hey every five rounds you will get fog for just one round and I really do feel like if we had no fog or like I said if we would get fog every five rounds just for a single round it would have created that longevity factor and I feel like that's what we need in zombies but coming in at number five we're talking about zombies wouldn't die when they are frozen now I cannot stress this like how many damn times I went to buy Juggernaug and of course whenever you want to go to buy Juggernaug and I really like the spot where Juggernaug is at though I, I feel like it's great Trek did a phenomenal job on that like creating that water if you step in it you will get that frozen screen and you will freeze if you stay there and of course zombies will freeze there too but what I want is that whenever zombies will go inside the water they will freeze but I don't want the zombies to die because sometimes what I want is like I want to have one zombie is alive and uh, or one zombie alive or couple of zombies alive and I want to go buy Juggernaug, I want to go buy like perks and get some other guns and hit the box and maybe even do the easter egg step but it's like if they step in the water and if I accidentally take them there they will go down or they first of all they will freeze and then they will go down I cannot say the word uh, D-E-A-T you know what I'm saying Papa YouTube is listening so cannot say that but whenever zombies would step in water they will freeze but they will respawn I feel like that would have been really damn good but coming in at number four we're talking about this thing called F everything track you listen to me right now you better put this damn thing in my boy Call of the Dead remaster now what I'm talking about here is that uh, you know like that area where you would train it's like outside of the lighthouse I mean I really like this training spot I mean a lot of people train here and uh, what I'm saying here is that you will go on the other side and you will see there's a dead end and you will see my boy quick revive just after that and what I want here is that I want this thing to be a door a Bible door and uh, of course if you don't want to buy hey that's totally fine you don't buy that but if you get stuck and if you need quick revive back you can actually buy this door and it will make the access or accessing quick revive really easy in my opinion and just this change can make this map 10 times better because obviously you wouldn't have to go around or do a whole circle to go on the other side but coming in at number three we're talking about just the shield having the shield in call of the dead would make this map so so good as well but obviously i understand the fact that this was a black ops 1 map so back in the days we didn't have shield and believe it or not i'm gonna blow your mind if you did not know we first got introduced to the the shield and zombies in my boy transit well technically transit is not my boy but i really kind of like enjoy the map every time i play this map i know a lot of people hate that map but i personally really enjoy the map every time i play so Having the shield in the remastered Call of the Dead, it would be like really, really good. It would be just off. Oh. But coming in at number two spot, I'm talking about having more traps in Call of the Dead. Maybe even having just one electric trap inside of the lighthouse or outside of the lighthouse. What I'm trying to say here is that whenever you would buy the door to go inside the electric house or the lighthouse, not the electric house. Uh, whenever you would go inside the lighthouse, there would be like a electric trap in in the entrance, let's say, right? And you would go inside 
outside, you would use the electric trap, and boy oh boy, you will start killing a lot of zombies. And it would make the high rounds a little bit more fun, and it would make that shit go faster as well. And that's the whole reason why I want those damn electric traps. And I feel like if we had more traps, or I mean two electric traps, like one in the beginning, like I'm talking about where the AK-74 you walk by is, like having one there and having one on the other side where you would go down and there's sometimes mystery box there and there's water there and of course if you go a little bit further you can go and buy stamina up. But coming in at our number one spot obviously I like to hit you guys up with a bot and this time it's no different. Well it can be maybe it's a good meme maybe it's gonna be a good meme maybe it's not gonna be a good meme who knows but after you hear me out go down in the comments and be like Skizzle it was a good meme if if you disagree with this just like Skizzle that was not a good meme. I just want to hear what, what you think about this but at our number one spot I'm talking about whenever you go inside the lighthouse obviously you got the eyes it's a visual thing but not a gameplay mechanic and I want this to be a gameplay mechanic where you would train and sometimes you would slip and also what I want from uh, zombies here is that they would run and they would also slip and sometimes fall obviously it's gonna create that uh, like factor where training would be a little bit harder to do inside the lighthouse but that's exactly what I want like I like the whole visual aspect of this area but at the same time it's like visual only and there's like no gameplay mechanic and let me know what you guys think in the comments below check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them subscribe if you happen to be new and uh, smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you very freaking soon